Hi there, this is Abhishek and this video is about SQL for Data Science. So SQL for Data Science is a new course that I am preparing for the aspiring data scientists or the data analyst or even if you are a data engineer, you cannot escape from the SQL, that is for sure. And to know each and every aspect about how to use the SQL to get the data from the databases because database is a location where all of your company's data or all of the data that you would like to store can be stored properly and retrieved as per the need and there are some proper commands there are there is some proper procedures that you need to follow when you are working with the databases so if you are a complete beginner who have not done any task into the sql or into the database management system or if you are someone who wants to upgrade the skill set into the uh, SQL for data science, then you can join this course. So where what I'm basically asking you is the, the topics that you would like to learn. So there are a few of the topics that I have already listed and they are first of all introduction of uh, SQL and the database management system. Then there is installing SQL Lite. Then you have SQL Lite introduction where we will have a quick intro about the SQLite, what is SQLite and uh, how it is getting used into the data science or other platforms like it gets used into the mobile development for Android and iOS because it is very lightweight as the name suggests that it is a SQLite. So it's, it's very, very useful and very versatile in nature. Then you have uh, working with databases like uh, how you can import the database, how you can attach the database, how you can create the database, delete and all that sort of operations. After that, uh, working with tables. So you have uh, operations like create, update, uh, read, delete, which is uh, CRUD operations uh, usually known into the world of SQL or SQL. Uh, these are the regular operations that you have to do on the table where many times you have to create the table as per the needs of the business you need to update the table because their business is constantly changing and you need to know uh, what are all the things uh, or, or all the commands that uh, that are getting that you need to execute to update the table similarly to read the data table you have uh, select command so select command is something which you will use 90% of the time and it's very very simple yet very complex as well whenever situation becomes more and more complex and finally there is a delete that sometimes you may even need to delete the data or delete the table so we will look at all of those different scenarios over here about how to how we can do that after that we have something like I have something like uh, joins where I will show you how you can join the tables. So for example, um, within, a, within a company, not, a, with, not with a single table, you can, you can go ahead and work with. There will always be multiple tables. So for example, there will be a table of employees, there will be a table of uh, uh, their salary details, their project details, uh, their other uh, ratings related details. So all of that information usually get uh, stored into different tables if, if you are looking at the HR database. Similarly there are like marketing teams or marketing databases, there is sales databases, there is a finance database in which you will find hundreds of tables storing almost every information about where the company is operating. So this is something which is present in separate tables. So having an understanding of the joints is something very much required that, that you need to have. Afterwards, we will look at uh, the date and time operations. So date and time operations, if you look at any data, it is either uh, you know over a period of time or having some aspect of the time when that particular record was uh, recorded. So for example, if you are looking at the sales database, uh, information about when the sales has happened, whether in this quarter, last quarter, last year when, it's basically driven by dates. Similarly, transaction time, when did the transaction happen? So company is interested about uh, what is that most profitable time uh, on a website when customers are doing the transaction. So you will have to deal with the time data as well. So having a good understanding of the date and time is will go in a long way 
to produce the analysis that your management likes. And then we will go ahead and uh, look about the aggregation functions. Aggregation functions are something which we use a lot when we need to you know group the data or figure out a com computation based on some some sort of calculation so for example you may want to figure it out uh, that across the countries uh, what is the sales that is going on along with that sales total sales you want to say okay what is an average sales based on average order value that you have for for that particular country or that particular dimension that, that you have an interest so all of this is happening with the help of the aggregation function along with a couple of other clauses like uh, group by clause and all which uh, we will be discussing a lot uh, when we will look at the examples and that is what is, I have as part of the course. Then what I have uh, next is basically the triggers. Triggers are something which are events. So if you are already aware about triggers, you would be aware that these are the events which happen based on the event you are specifying so for example an event can be that on monday a particular table should remove the entire data so that a new data can be inserted so it's like an automatic operation where based on the particular date and time you are instructing a trigger that hey go ahead and execute this delete or truncate command which is flushing out the data from the table and then the table is ready to pick up the new data so that uh, your analysis, your reports or your dashboards will showing you the fresh data. So these are all the very different sort of operations that on a regular basis uh, a data scientist or a data engineer, specifically if I talk about as, as a data engineer profile, data engineer really really deal with it where not only just the select piece that means selecting data which usually the data scientist or the data analyst do but when it comes to the data engineers they need to make sure that the pipelines that they will or the data pipelines that they build uh, they are building they, it should be always as per the needs of the data analyst or the data scientist or the business uh, based on how they want to produce the output so it's core job of a data engineer that uh, looking at uh, what are all the operations that business or the data scientist or the data analyst is, is basically asking and uh, they need to make sure that they are doing it but having this idea is something going a long way if you want to build a complete data science uh, skills uh, for for executing a project end to end or you know giving your expert advice or the having a complete control over the project and then finally, we will look at the, the different uh, interfaces of the programming language like uh, we have uh, R or we have, and we have Python about how we can go ahead uh, and uh, integrate the R and Python which are primarily used for doing the data science related tasks. So there is a proper connection methodology, there is a proper syntax that one needs to follow to make sure that it is uh, that your database is getting connected properly and not only it's the database connection for reading the data but to perform other operations like inserting the data into the database based on certain event or the data that you are pulling up from the you know manipulation data manipulation or data generation that you are doing uh, based on your uh, python script or the r script you may want to reinserted so we will look at those sort of operations so that you are fully aware about not only fetching the data but also about uh, uh, you know inserting the data back into the SQLite so this is a comprehensive course that I have uh, chalked out or the topics these topics I have written uh, they are also present in the description you can look at it but what I specifically asking is what is your opinion what do you want to see in this course because this course is for you and uh, I thought why not go ahead and uh, straight away ask from you what would you really like to learn apart from these topics into this course so that you are getting the maximum output from this course so please do mention into the comments what are the topics that you really like and have not seen into any other tutorial or any other course 
and would write, like to see in this course and I will make sure that uh, I'm doing my best to include that with proper examples and exercises and I hope you will find them uh, very relevant for your learning. So that's about it. I look forward for your comments and thank you for watching this video.